The court seated a six-member jury and four alternates this afternoon, following several days of questioning. Judge Jeffrey Yons delivered instructions and an oath. If you're able, stand and please raise your right hand. Attorneys for both sides then presented their opening statements, a roadmap of what to expect in the coming days. Assistant Attorney General Barbara A. Serrano says the evidence clearly shows Troyer made false claims to police that night, involving an altercation with newspaper carrier Cedric Alzheimer. It's not uncommon for newspaper carriers to get stopped because of the way they drive and crisscross streets, moving from house to house. But what Mr. Alzheimer experienced on this night in late January 2021, went way beyond anything he had experienced before. Sheriff Troyer turned his own suspicions into something much bigger. Meanwhile, Troyer's attorney, Ann Bremner, disputed the state's claims, stating that it was just a misunderstanding between Troyer and Alzheimer, and brought up Alzheimer's civil case as a possible motive for this trial. Bremner went on to claim that Alzheimer yelled, I'll take you out to the sheriff. But somebody else did too, in terms of that phrase. And that was President Biden, when he talked about killing a terrorist. And he went in a press conference and said, if you basically mess with the United States as a terrorist, we will take you out just like we took out that terrorist. And we killed him. I'll take you out. Now court is scheduled to resume tomorrow morning at 8.45 a.m. where state prosecutors will present their first witness. But for now, we're live at the Pierce County Courthouse. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.